talk to us about the strategy here and why WeWork is making these moves. This is pretty interesting because the acquisition of Space Mob is actually the first time WeWork has outright and acquired another type of co-working space. All of the previous acquisitions have been for related services. And so with this acquisition, which likely was not very large, they're getting a local team and people with local expertise. Space Mob is based in Singapore. Now, the company says that they very much wanted to do this acquisition for the talent and that local expertise. And they've been expanding incredibly rapidly. And as you said earlier, they're really taking this approach where they're finding people who are already there, have the expertise, and finding investors together so they can rapidly scale in the region. Now, I actually interviewed the head of Space Bob at the end of last year before this acquisition happened. Take a listen to what he had to say. Lines are blurring, uh, especially when co-working is being offered to traditionally more entrepreneurs, more SMEs. But even the corporates are looking at uh, co-working as well right now. This is a way for them essentially to save capex, uh, a way for them to be flexible, a way for them to basically learn how to be nimble as, as small companies. So we are helping companies uh, small to become big and big companies to remain small and nimble at the same time. Bob, how optimistic are you about this co-working space? trend. $20 billion. It's, it's impressive that they've gotten this far, but I have to tell you, I've done research on this and there are a lot of concerns that people have once they've started to actually do this. Because what you find, for example, is it's they're very noisy environments and it's hard to get work done in a lot of these places. So when I looked at trends of where people expected to be working over time, those WeWork type situations were growing, but then stalling. Mm. And that's the concern. The other big concern is this has traditionally been a U.S. Uh, business or tech-focused kind of uh, attraction. In other words, you find a lot of U.S.-based tech companies working in these environments. Whether that can transfer culturally and into other industries remains to be seen. Right. Startups aren't the tech startups aren't the only kinds of new businesses out there. Uh, Selena, how is WeWork addressing some of these concerns? Well, WeWork has a very high valuation, as you said. They need to live up to that, and part of it is by rapidly expanding globally with partnerships with people with a lot of capital like Honey Capital in China, SoftBank in Japan. Now, a lot of the concerns are that this is kind of a cyclical business. When tech and startups are doing well, WeWork is going to have a lot of business. So they've also made some changes in their strategy to incorporate more enterprises and large businesses like a Microsoft that wants some extra flexible working space. And so they're really trying to diversify their revenue streams not only globally, but also with their existing co-working strategy.